Richard. All good. Taking both boats, aren't we? Taking both boats. <laughs> I've asked Alan if he'll be the skipper of the boat. Tonight I'm doing my um, night exercise assessment uh -huh. of uh, you know, towing a vessel at night. Pretty good. That's <laughs> What's that? SOS. <laughs> See you later, Alan. Part of every potential new skipper's training is being able to conduct operations at night. <laughs> <laughs> Three, this is Monobar Rescue, over. Monobar Rescue, Rotary 373. We have an issue currently. If you could perhaps come and assist us, over. 26 degrees, 40 decimal, 441. Longitude, 15308 decimal, 124, over. We'll just come and assess the situation and then we'll let you know what side we'll throw the healing line. Yeah, that would be great. Over. Night operations at sea are challenging, particularly for those that have had little experience with this. Distance perception is very different at night and it's easy for crews to become a little disorientated, particularly in rough conditions. Lights. Becoming familiar with the lighting system of all the instruments which need to be dimmed in order to maintain night vision is a skill that needs to be learnt, as well as a very good knowledge of the coral rigs and what lights need to be displayed by our vessel when underway and with the vessel in tow. We hope to install a gyro stabilised flare on the Lullabar Road Tree Rescue in the near future, which will be a welcome help in night operations. Use of radar and particularly our FLIR system are great aids for night operations. During this exercise, a small vessel in the entrance whose very dim lights were lost in the background lights was easily identified with our FLIR. Hector will have learned a lot from this practical test and is making good progress in attaining all the skills necessary before he can be made a qualified skipper at QF6. Thanks to both crews for turning out to help Hector attain his goal. <laughs>